Well, welcome to the webinar tonight. My name is Mike Wood. I'm going to be your presenter here tonight, and we are going to be talking tonight about uh, listing uh, items from consignment. Um, consignment uh, uh, simply means that you have uh, uh, somebody uh, that you know who doesn't know how to sell on eBay and uh, wants your help selling, and uh, so you're going to go and, and you know, sell the item for them. Before I jump into that, I just wanted to uh, to come over here and look at some of my uh, um, recent items and uh, show you something that uh, you may have seen in, in past weeks. Uh, I've talked about uh, selling garbage on eBay. And uh, in one of these uh, webinars, I believe uh, I put up this listing right here uh, for these little foam pieces. This is from a neighbor of mine. Uh, these are about one inch. Uh, um, thick times three, so about three inches thick total, uh, little pieces of foam. Uh, it comes in uh, um, a box that he receives for some uh, shipping, some items that are shipped to him consistently, uh, um, water uh, softener units. <clears throat> and he gets one or two of these in the in the bottom of each of those boxes. Well, he had some uh, that I had sold on eBay that were uh, uh, a 12 by 12 by 2 inch uh, block of foam that uh, were black and a, a completely solid piece and, you know, pretty nice uh, for reuse. And, and I sold a lot of those, hundreds and hundreds of them, uh, anywhere from uh, um, 4 to $17 a piece. I still have a few of those listed at the $17 range and have sold some recently. So uh, he stopped getting those and uh, started getting a, a different brand, and this is uh, what comes out of that new brand. These are much smaller. They're about six inches square with the, the hole in the middle there, and then, like I say, three pieces glued together um, like that. And I thought, well, what the heck, let's throw them up, see what happens. Maybe somebody wants them. I was surprised at the last piece of garbage that I tried to sell. And uh, lo and behold sold six of them the other day. <laughs> now I'm selling these in a in a two quantity. So it was technically it was 12 of these. So two uh times the the white dense uh, polyethylene foam. Um and somebody came in and and paid $7.31 uh um per set for uh six sets. So uh, uh a sale of uh what 40 uh 48 49 dollars something like that uh almost 50 bucks uh for 43 $43.86 for this uh, bit of garbage <laughs> that I have. That was fun. Uh, I enjoy that kind of stuff. That was, I mean, that's literally just money from, from trash. Somebody was throwing this away and I said, hey, why don't you bring it to me and, and uh, let me see if I can sell it. <clears throat> Technically not a consignment item. Uh, he was literally throwing these away and so giving them to me, he doesn't expect anything from it. Uh, uh, and uh, so it's, you know, that's just, money in my pocket. Uh, kind of fun to have something like that. Now I've got to go back to him and say, hey, I need more of those <laughs> because that cleaned me out uh, of uh, most of what I had and he hadn't brought me a whole lot. So kind of a fun little item that I wanted to, to throw up there and, and just show you guys. All right, so consignment. Um, let's jump back into this and see how things go tonight. Uh, I've got my Dropbox uh, working again properly and and so we're going to uh, to fill this out. So Right now, I have these uh, BMW uh, um, Throttle Meister cruise control uh, um, grips for uh, or rod ends, handlebar ends for a motorcycle. And so I'm I'm going to take pictures of these right here as we speak. Uh, uh, nothing uh, fancy with uh, lighting or anything. But uh, I tried to find images of these on uh, Google, and uh, I just couldn't see. Uh, good images uh, of this item, you know, the, the exact same that I have here. And so I decided to go ahead and take my own images. And so that's what we're going to be doing first here tonight is I'll um, pull this uh, the items out and take uh, um, pictures of them so that we can get those up on the listing. And then we're going to go through the listing. So I did start this last week. Um, it's been sitting uh, uh, ever since. And so I decided uh, let's uh, let's go ahead and jump in and, and get it uh, completed. And so we're going to complete the listing tonight. Uh, and so I'm just taking the, the pictures here. Um, 
again, this is uh, this is not anything uh, uh, special where I'm taking these pictures. It's uh, uh, just here at the office. Uh, lighting isn't anything uh, fancy, um, but uh, gives me enough anyway to to get some decent pictures. So we've got some good shadows in here. Um, that's really not uh, too big a deal to have that. And so we're going to put these grips up, and then what I'm going to do is walk you through checking uh, other items for uh, to, to decide which might have the best value, and we'll uh, we'll start listing uh, those as well. So we'll uh, we'll begin this. I just noticed I've got uh, another little piece here that. I didn't see initially. Uh, it has some little stickers on it, so we'll go ahead and take a picture with those um, stickers as well, so I can tell people that it has those stickers on them. Um, these are all wrapped up uh, uh, nice and neat in, in some little foam there to keep them uh, safe in, in shipping. I mean, these are literally brand new items, uh, never used, and uh, this is a, a consignment deal that I got from my uh, uh, therapist friend, massage therapist, who has helped us out a little bit with aches and pains. And so I'm going to list these um, for him. And uh, basically, uh, uh, for the first uh, several of them, it's paying for the treatment that he gave me. And uh, then after that, uh, we'll continue listing on a consignment basis where I'll take a percentage of the items that are being listed. So almost done with the, the images. We'll have several pictures here to go through. Uh, you might uh, notice these coming up on my computer if uh, my Dropbox is working right, which I, I hope it is. It should be. Showing up there, there they are, yeah, up in the right corner. Good, so that's all working. UPC, uh, um, I don't uh, believe I have that. And so we'll probably just put an NA on that. I'm not gonna worry about it. Uh, it uh, oftentimes is required, but if you just do N slash A, and then eBay accepts it. Um, front, brand, manufacturer part number is FH. Ampersand AB9. So we'll go ahead and do that. Um, looks like we've got some additional part numbers here. So I'm going to put a comma there. And I've got F650DAKAR. All right. Um, that looks like a bit of a description there, actually. Okay, uh, I've got all of my details uh, in here already. Um, brand new in the original box with all paperwork uh, um, and all parts that are seen in the photos. All right, upload our images and see how long that takes uh, to get those uh, put in here. Uh, let's see, camera uploads and from today. So there are my images. What is that, about eight? Seven images. And we'll just make quick work of this and crop and those right there. Again, if you have any questions on what I'm doing here or, or questions about uh, any of this uh, process, please uh, put them in the, the question box there. I like to, to try and, and get all the yellow out and the, the white background to just kind of disappear um, with my images. So that's generally what I am trying to do here. Uh, we will pull this one over to the front and work on that next. So that'll be our primary image that is shown to the eBay audience of the item. Um, and we might try a little different location on the, the next pictures we do tonight because I'm, I'm seeing a lot of yellow light in this that I don't really like and it's a little more difficult to get rid of it. 
That's not too bad though, uh, there. All right, and then we've got a picture of just the box so they can see the actual box uh, branded. So this is a uh, an item that has all the retail packaging uh, uh, that you know, shows that it is absolutely um, brand new. Uh, this is the uh, inner package that has some of the parts to it to connect it. And you can really see that, that yellowing uh, in there, kind of difficult to get rid of that uh, when you have that. And when we do go all the way, it basically erases some of the package material, but we're going to do that anyway. Uh, play around with your location and uh, your uh, items you're taking pictures of. If you're doing consignment items or, or selling your own or, or yard sale items or anything like that, you know, an item that you have in hand, um, play around with the lighting a little bit until you get the the right kind of lighting that you'd really like to have. Uh, I've noticed that different positions with the camera can uh, uh, end up giving me uh, different lighting, and some is better than others. Um, sometimes it might be just the the light source. Um, fluorescent lighting sometimes might be better than uh, um, something that's not, uh, you know, a halogen bulb or something that's not fluorescent. Uh, I don't generally like to spend a lot of time working the images in a photo editor. Uh, if it's something that has a, a high value or a really good value, then I might spend time doing that to really make the images better. Um, generally, uh, if it's something that uh, I'm concerned about like that, I, I'll just take the, the pictures uh, in uh, daytime with natural light um, near a window or something like that. So. That uh, that's pretty good. We're going to take this over so they can see all of the items uh, involved there, right near the front. We'll upload those. We'll go check and see if I have my pricing in here. I don't have the pricing, and so we're going to do a real quick uh, search for this item out on eBay so we can get our pricing. Um, throttle cruise control for BMW. So we'll just come over here to our other eBay page and run a quick search on that. And there we can see somebody selling them for $60. That's the, the same thing. There's another one for 60. Here's one for 132. Um, we've got uh, uh, two actual listings and then several others that are similar. Um, and if we, Cruise control BMWs. We should be able to get. Uh, there we go. Six listings that are actively listed. So between 39 for just those items there um, that are probably used, uh, up to 132 for a brand new one. This uh, is a similar heavy. Uh, this one doesn't say. Oh, it's Kawasaki instead of uh, BMW. We'll look at completed listings real quick and I see 11 there, uh, 135 that didn't sell, 50 that did, 59 that uh, that did, 50 or 75 that did, 51, 125, they've got the sticker on it there, 75, so 160, so I, I really think I should be able to um, to probably get uh, around the, the 125 to 160 range maybe, so I'm going to try for uh, for 160 and uh, list it that way and make sure we've got the right number on here um, for our 1100 gs and check my uh, notes and details um, this is uh, i believe it is the r1100 uh, gs there so we'll go ahead with that and put it in at, uh, I'm going to try for, you know, it's got a price on it of $140.95. I'm going to just go ahead and put that, uh, uh, I'm going to put it at $137. And I will accept offers. Uh, I'm not going to set that to automatically accept or reject. 
because this is a consignment item. So it's something where if it were me, I'd probably accept a hundred bucks on something like this. If this were one of my surplus items, but since I have to get verification from the other individual I'm working with, um, I am going to check with him first. So a few uh, tips real quick here uh, before we, we get too far into this. Uh, um, remember to be in the advanced listing tool. It should look just like this, the page that you're using to list. If it doesn't look like this, you'll see a link up here at the top right to switch to advanced tool. And you want to make sure you're always using that advanced listing tool. Once you do it the one time, uh, it'll always default to that. Um, then I've got my uh, shipping set to free shipping. Uh, my international shipping, I just checked this box for sell globally, uh, ship domestically using global shipping program. Um, no alternative shipping. So I'm only going to uh, to ship uh, global if it's through that program. Uh, my box dimensions, uh, honestly, this item uh, um, has a bit of weight to it. So it might be uh, uh, something that uh, weighs enough that it won't go first class. I'll have to find my scale. and see if I can weigh it, but it uh, looks like the scale that Davin had in the office here has moved, so I'm not sure <laughs> where that uh, where that is, but it feels to me like it uh, is probably going to be heavy enough that it'll need to go um, priority, and so I'll use a flat rate uh, priority box. Flat rate box is only a uh, um, little over, oh, five dollars, so that's what we'll do um so uh the dimensions don't really matter and the, the weight doesn't matter because it is going to be uh, a flat rate box unless i can do it first class uh what we'll do is just do a standard shipping <clears throat> option there um returns accepted i always say that and then i've got my return policy uh, um, clearly outlined in my terms right here in my auction uh, if we send the wrong thing or make a mistake uh, or didn't uh, detail a problem with the item, we'll re return, refund, or replace, or whatever, and then continue. And then we're on our way to the next uh, item. So now what I need to do is decide which of these items that I have, uh, these other items, which uh, um, warrant the most uh, time and attention. Which ones do I want to, to put you know, more effort into? And so I'm going to pull out a few of these items and we'll take some pictures uh, uh, of them and show you what we've got here as we go along. But uh, we're also going to be uh, checking to see values. Uh, if the first one I look at uh, seems to have a pretty good value, then we'll go ahead and use that. So I'm pulling it out of the box or the bag right now. Uh, these are uh, Pentax uh, camera parts. Um, So we're going to put that uh, in there. This is, uh, uh, let's see. So we've got, uh, let's see. Um, this would be a vintage. So I'm going to put vintage in there and see if that helps. And... The handle, there it is, right there, that's what I have, um, wooden handle for a Pentax. Um, it does not have uh, the camera, it's just the, the handle itself. And I'm not seeing the same uh, um, wood wooden handle. So we'll see if we can find a, a listing. Oh, there we go. So there's one that sold for 60 bucks. Uh, uh, Asahi, yep, that's the exact same thing that I have. 6x7 wood, wooden handle grip for 6x7, 67, 67 two cameras. Hey, that looks great. You know, I mean, that, uh, that's a good price right there. Uh, it uh, looks to me like it's worth putting some time into. So we're going to go ahead and list that. I'm not going to worry about uh, comparing other uh, items right now. He's given me one here that, that looks like a, a pretty good item. So $60 for that one. Do we see any others uh, selling at uh, similar prices or other? And no, we don't. So we'll go back up to the top here 
and we're going to mimic that one right there. They've done a great job with their title uh, and uh, stands out. We've got some good keywords in there. Uh, use conditions. Uh, EXC, I'm, I'm not sure what that means. I am not a, a, a Pentax uh, um, or a camera enthusiast for that matter. And so I don't know if that is something that is important for me to, to include or not. And so I am going to, uh, uh, I'm not going to worry about putting that in mine, actually. Uh, I have another part here that uh, looks like some sort of a clamp. And we'll have to look that up separate and then decide if that is something that I'm going to list uh, with this item or um, or list it separately. So, uh, all right, Pentax 6x7 um, wood, wooden handle grip. Uh, again, I don't know what the 6x7 stands for. Um, it's probably the camera itself. And I can look that up if I do a search like this and see if we can find uh, something that will tell me about that. Uh, and sure enough, uh, Pentax 6x7 medium format SLR film camera. Uh, it is uh, an explanation of the, the camera model, the 6x7 uh, lens, it looks like. Okay. So see that clamp right there? That's what I have. So I can look at that. Uh, uh, as part of this too, perhaps. Um, in fact, what I might do, so we can just quickly search clamp and see what it, uh, there's nothing coming up. All right, so we'll jump in and see if they explain what this, uh, um, what this one contains and includes here. Uh, and maybe they'll tell us what that item is. And of course, uh, I, you could take the time, you know, talking to your um, talking to your your person that you're getting the item from to get an idea of what the item is. Lens ring, right there. I wonder if that's what it is. Um, original hood. Please check on the photos. Excellent condition. Okay. So I'm thinking that is the lens ring. And so what I can do is come over here and go to Google and do a search for six by seven and see if it, uh, right there, see that? Quick focus ring. All right. And so now I can come back over here and do a search for Pentax uh, quick focus ring. And there it is. They're selling for around 25. Uh, one's listed at 60. We have four listings and 39 19 27 27 34 19 so it might be worth listing this separately uh, as a, its own item and listing it for around uh, um, perhaps uh, yeah probably the 30 probably 34 95 range so I think I'll do that as its own item so here we've got uh, um, the uh, wood handle, and so uh, again, it's asking for a UPC, which is kind of silly to me on a vintage item. Uh, you know, how likely is it you're going to have something like that, uh, especially when it's condition used? Um, so we just mark that as uh, um, not applicable or not available, however you want to read that. I don't have the model number, so we're going to do the same thing there on that. And Compatible brand, no idea. So we're going to get rid of that. We're going to get rid of that and that. Got the 
Pentax brand. We have uh, Pentax up here as well as uh, Asahi. Um, let me get rid of that there. All right, and then we go to my trusty uh, um, Google document under my eBay links for all the details for my listing and copy and paste that in there. Well, that's coming up. We'll jump over and take some pictures of these items. I actually have a uh, strap for the camera as well. And so uh, that's something that we might um, we might put in. Uh, and that's honestly, this I probably ought to just do all of this as a lot. Um, but if somebody doesn't need every item, that's why I think uh, uh, I, I like the idea of doing it uh, separately. All right, so we uh, we come in here and, and look at getting some pictures of this item. And I will take uh, multiple different pictures from different angles so they can see all sides of it. And the condition uh, of it uh, at uh, the different uh, on the different parts. Now I do have some scuff marks on the bottom, so I'm taking a close up of that. And uh, there's definitely some wear on this handle. And so I want to try and get a good uh, picture of, uh, of that wear. So we've got those. We're gonna go ahead and take pictures of the ring while I'm here. And uh, it does have some markings on it that uh, I hope will will be seen. So we'll try to get those get some pictures of those markings there. And that'll be something that uh, will come out and uh, be seen better with the um, with the editing that we can do on eBay. So we should be able to get some, some pretty clean pictures uh, of the item. Okay. And then uh, we'll take a picture of the strap so that we have that uh, ready as well and we can decide if that is going to be its own item or not. And the strap uh, will need to, to be measured for length and we'll do that after we decide where we're gonna put it here. And even the strap has the brand on it. And any of that branding is a good thing to to put in and, and to show on your items, uh, especially when it's a, a, a well-known name brand and, and somebody uh, might buy the item because of the brand. You definitely want to, to make sure to get pictures of any of that branding so that people know what they're dealing with. Okay. So there we are, got those pictures. Again, this is uh, why I love Dropbox. Uh, setting up a, a Dropbox uh, account um, makes things really fast for getting these uh, images over. So, um, and I will probably uh, put a link to, well, on the YouTube uh, page for this video, the, the Dropbox, but it's just dropbox.com. Um, so there's a question out there from Robert. Uh, you use Dropbox for your pictures. Is that a program? Yes. Dropbox is a, uh, a program that I can, uh, uh, you can go to the website 
uh, and sign up or get a link from somebody to sign up and uh, you create an account and then you can access your files through that website and create folders and have all that here. Um, or you can also have that uh, downloaded and installed on your computer so that you can run it and, and access it through your computer. I've got it right here. So I've got all my files and folders uh, right here on the computer. Um, and then I put it on my phone as an app and it runs through my smartphone as well. So I have all of those uh, options there. Uh, and uh, so now we've got all of our images ready. Uh, we can go ahead and, and get the the items put up here. Um, I don't know uh, if there are a lot of differences. I mean, these all look pretty uh, much the same to me. Um, I don't have uh, a number on the, the side of mine. These got these numbers, 823, 831. I don't know. Uh, what number mine is, or there are no numbers uh, on the ring. And so uh, I will probably just have to, um, that's what I should do is show the, the difference, uh, how they do that. Um, there's a piece that, that's inside. So you'll see the, these as I pull them up. So let's go ahead and, and do this uh, first for the handle. So we've got the the grip uh, title there. We're going to come down and put that in my listing so it's there. Um, item is a consignment item for a friend is in good working condition, not mint. See photos for more detail. All right, and I've already forgotten the uh, pricing on this, but I think we were somewhere between uh, forty to sixty dollars uh, on this thing. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna try for a fifty-seven and uh, see how we do there. So let's get our photos again coming into Dropbox and. Uh, um, uploading the photos, there's our strap, um, and then the pictures of the ring, and then we've got the pictures of the uh, handle here. So pull that handle up. There we go. Don't know if you heard my phone just uh, to ching there. I just had a sale on a uh, an item that I got through Surplus. Uh, this was a charcoal filter um, that uh, I bought a whole box of them. Got uh, oh, I think there's 170 of them, and I sell them for 9.97 a piece. And uh, I think I paid maybe 20 bucks for the whole box. So literally. Uh, uh, hundreds of dollars uh, in there, you know, uh, of those items. So um, fun to see those sell every time they do. All right, we'll brighten that up, increase the contrast here, and just get rid of all that yellow background. So we've got just the, uh, the items shown real well there. And do that to all the rest of these. Crop them just real quick. So here we've uh, we've listed. Well, we'll look at it. I'm not even paying much attention to all the the dollar amounts here. But uh, in a half hour, we've got uh, uh, a little over 100 bucks uh, worth of stuff listed. I think here. And uh, I do try to to deal in you know higher priced items when I'm doing consignment. Uh, if it's not uh, a fairly decent uh, price, it, it just, you know, it isn't worth the, the time it's going to take to to make it work. Uh, it'll be a good idea for an item like this to mention the scuffs and scratches on the uh, wood. And so that's something that I will put into my description there if I don't forget here so that we can um, make sure that we're being very uh, upfront about the condition. And then, of course, uh, you can see it in the pictures here as well. And we can just jump back while that's uh, rendering. And uh, um, there are scratches. 
scratches in the wood of the handle. Um, and some small paint um, let's see small uh, scratches in the black paint see photos and then fix that nope don't want Blake, I want black. Okay. All right. Um, and then I had another question here. Are you taking pictures with a regular phone or an iPhone? This is a, a Galaxy S4 um, Android phone. Uh, nothing, nothing fancy. Uh, it's, uh, um, but it works works real well for me. All right, we've got that, and then here we've got, uh, we're going to crop this, and this shows the uh, the scraping on the bottom of the item uh, in the paint. And so, uh, again, we want to crop that in. We want to clean up the uh, um, lighting and, and contrast. We'll brighten it up quite a bit there, bring up the contrast so that we can hopefully see the, uh, the pitting and, and um, details of that there. All right, and then uh, there we are. We've got uh, the listing up. Um, it, uh, uh, we might want to move this uh, item over. We can use those little arrows to move the uh, pictures back and forth if we want to. So I've done that to move those around. And this item uh, is probably going to be uh, uh, one that will go uh, first class, I'm thinking. Uh, I'm going to set an automatic accept on this uh, at uh, $40 and automatic reject uh, if it's under 40. Uh, flat uh, rate shipping. Uh, um, we're going to do just a uh, um, first class. Where's my first class? Right there. Cost at zero. I don't know why it's not giving me an option for free shipping. It should give me an option to check free shipping there. Change that to no alternative. And uh, we'll probably have to come back to this. eBay system is probably freaking out and just not loading right. So we'll have to come back to it. The same with my returns there. This is probably going to go in a uh, nine by four by three box that I have. And I'm guessing it's probably around nine ounces. Uh, continue. And it'll give me that little error about the shipping not being correct, I believe. Nope, it's gonna go ahead and enlist it. It's free shipping. So we'll submit that there. And uh, and we'll be done with it. All right, so now we've got to go and complete this other listing over here, the uh, focus ring. So this is one where I, I'm not real sure what the item is, so we're going to just do a quick check to see uh, what I can uh, find out about it. Uh, um, this, uh, I, I just, you know, I don't know. If there are dimensions somewhere, maybe we can look at this guy's listing and view the details. And maybe he has some dimensions. He doesn't. Uh, very little on it. Uh, so I don't know what the dimensions of the item uh, there would be. So what I might do is I'll just um, list this without that ring. Pentax. Uh, We'll call this vintage Pentax uh, six by seven um, camera quick focus ring uh, use condition. That's good. We'll get our photos here and. Upload each of those here to here. 
and then make our updates to those images. Uh, we got one that isn't the uh, right one. We'll just delete that, and that'll be gone. We don't have to worry about it. And then it's going to settle on this last one, which we're going to make the first item. And we'll just come out here and crop it real quick. And then update the brightness and contrast. See if we can get rid of the gray background there. Brighten it up a lot. Bring in the contrast. And look at that gray background just disappear from the bad lighting. Okay, you don't have to have perfect lighting to, to make this work. Uh, you really don't. And then uh, we'll take the next image here and crop that one. And then same thing with the lighting. Make it much brighter. Bring up that contrast till we've got just a white background, basically just eliminating the background there. This is a close-up of part of the uh, the ring, and so we're going to go in and uh, zoom in on that so that they can see uh, a bit more of a close-up of the ring. And uh, that's the uh, there's a, a little joint right there that you can where you can tighten it. So we want to really brighten that up so that we can see that. And uh, here's something else I want to show you with the editing on eBay. Notice uh, the the spots here. I don't know if you can see that, but there's spots and shadow on the back of, the, of that white piece of paper. But with this right here, just bringing that contrast up, that just disappears. See how that goes away? And you end up with a really nice image there. Brighten it up a little more so we can see the grooves on that uh, um, thumb ring. And uh, there we've got a pretty decent image. Okay. Uh, same thing with the other side of the item. We'll go ahead and crop that, apply that, and uh, do the image uh, contrast and, uh, and lighting. Bring that up, bring in the contrast, there we go. Now hopefully we can see that uh, writing right there, and I'm not sure if we can. What I'm going to do is go in and click uh, to add another um, image and I'm going to crop closer on this one. So this one I'm going to bring it up here and I'm going to crop right in there to hopefully show that and I don't even know if that'll be big enough that's that's cropping it quite a bit. But I want to see if I can bring out that uh, writing and I think I can so that with a um, a decent image, you know, decent size, which it should be. When they look at it, they can see what the writing actually says there. And then finish that. Uh, we've got uh, all our, uh, oh, we don't have these details, so N slash A, um, Pentax, uh, model, I'm not sure, N slash A on the manufacturer's part number, compatible brand, um, Pentax, uh, well, we don't need the compatible brand. Country region of manufacture I know is Japan, so we'll go ahead and put that in there. Copy my details from my over there. I usually put the counter on uh, if I if I remember, and we're going to put this at uh, um, 3527, and we're going to automatically accept. Uh, 21, if somebody makes an offer that higher, higher. Um, flat cost, this will be uh, a um, first class package and it'll be free. Uh, no alternative uh, shipping methods, it'll be probably uh, around a, oh, I don't know, maybe a six by six by two two uh honestly this is probably no more than four or five ounces uh there continue now actually i think i forgot to put to copy the item in there so i'm going to go back i don't think i copied the item title and pasted it into the description area so we're going to come back here copy that yeah Paste that there. All right, now we'll continue. Uh, 
and submit listing. Um, you might notice my fees there, $358 uh, so far for this month. Um, that's not a big deal when your sales are, you know, 1500 to 2000 or more um, per month. Uh, you know, so if you, you get enough sales out there, then it's not, it's, it's not really a, a troubling thing. Um, vintage Pentax camera strap and see if we can get uh, right there. It looks a lot like the strap that I have. So there's uh, 342 of those uh, active, um, 492 uh, completed. And do we have any very similar to the one that, uh, that I have that have actually sold $6.50 there? Um, so that's not uh, um, that's not likely to to bring a whole lot of money. Now let's go and just double check these. Uh, if we come in and click on this item, we can see what it looks like, and we should be able to get back to uh, the other one over here as well and see what it looks like. I'll refresh that. There we go. You can almost read that uh, right there. Uh, if we go to this one. Um, it's not going to blow up anymore for us. Uh, this one blew up that uh, good, so not too bad. Um, you can kind of see what it uh, what it says. Uh, might be worth taking another picture of it, honestly. Um, this one's pretty good. You can see that uh, the grooves on the thumb screw there that I wanted to see. Um, that one's all right, and then our main uh, image there, not too bad. So I'm happy with it. Um, uh, this one here uh, is, I refreshed the wrong page. So we'll have to go back to my uh, list of selling items to find it. Uh, list of, uh, of items that I've listed. So there we are with some, uh, um, doing some, uh, uh, consignment listings. Uh, another question here. Um, uh, oh, no, that was just a clarification on the old other one. So, all right. Do we have any other questions? Anything uh, that I left out? Anything that uh, that anybody wants to, to know uh, more about uh, what we've gone over here? I'm happy to answer any questions that, uh, that might still be lingering there. Uh, otherwise, that uh, is the end of our webinar tonight. Uh, I'll check my messages and see what kind of uh, message I have in there. I received an offer. Oh, look at that. I received an offer for my uh, sagebrush trees, which I accepted already. So, all right. Um, I'm not seeing any questions. I thank uh, everybody for uh, for joining uh, and uh, hope that you will continue to uh, come to these live webinars as well as the recordings. Uh, if you're listening to this as a recording, get out there to the live ones. A lot of good information on all these webinars that we uh, have prepared for you.